Uhuru. Yeah, I want to thank uh, Takara and Dexter for that introduction. So I want to say a few things about African Liberation Day, but uh, and it might be outside of what you understand about African Liberation Day. The first African Liberation Day declaration was made by the Organization of African Unity. March, May 25th, 1963. Unfortunately, after making such a declaration, we know that Africa was still not free. African people all over the world were still not free. And we're still not free today. In 1972, an important point in the African liberation movement was made. That was the founding of the African People's Socialist Party. May 25th, 1972. So the African People's Socialist Party is 50 years old. All right, all right. 50 years old on May 25th. And I think that's a statement about who we are as a party, a revolutionary party. There's no other party like it. When it started in 1972, three organizations came together, the Fort Myers Black Rights Fighters, which that brother right there was part of in 1972, in Yindu. The Junta of Militant Organizations, which I was a part of, and the Gainesville Black Studies Group. Those organizations came together merged in 1972 and became the African People's Socialist Party, founded by Couture Carey, Chairman O'Malley Ishitella, and Lawrence Mann. So that's a little bit about how we were formed, but after we were formed, we were just in the United States. But now, the African People's Socialist Party is on three different continents. Okay. We're on the continent of Africa, we're in the United States, we're in Europe, and today is a historic day because the African People's Socialist Party is holding African Liberation Day in St. Petersburg, Florida, St. Louis, Missouri, okay. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, okay. Oakland, California, Paris, France, okay. London, England. That's what we're doing. Oh, and I forgot to mention Freetown. Sierra Leone, Africa, and also in South Africa. So eight African Liberation Days happening on the same day. That's a historic movement. And you can become a part of that movement. You should become a part of it. Now everybody is not built for revolution. I've been doing this all of my 30 years of life. <laughs> I know y'all laughing because y'all probably say, well, he looks a little younger than 30. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a brother say he looks 20. Okay, I'll take it, but I know you're lying already. Oh, so, the African people so have a glorious history. And you can become a part of that history. You can join the African People Socialist Party. I encourage you to go to APSP, Uhuru.org. Or you can call us at 727-914-3617. Talk to me. Talk about joining the African People's Socialist Party. You can talk to Brother Dexter, who is emceeing today. But it's such a glorious history. I know you want to become a part of it. If you don't feel like you're not, you're quite ready for a revolutionary party, you can also join one of our mass organizations, the International People's Democratic Uhuru Movement that you know about right here in this city was around when they murdered Tyrone Lewis in 1996 and several other murders where we protested by the way we've been doing anniversaries of the murder of Tyrone Lewis for 25 years. And in October of 2021 marked the 25th year in a row that we had recognized the murder of Tyron Lewis. And I think that's a historic kind of thing. Did we get justice? No. But we have talked to the mayor of St. Pete, 
about renaming 18th Avenue, Tyron Lewis Avenue. We don't know if he's going to do that or not because it's not a good history of black people who are politicians doing something real for black people, including President Obama. I know that's going to make y'all mad, but if you can name one thing President Obama did for black people, I will pay you a hundred dollars. I already know you can't name it, so I ain't worrying about paying any money. Nah, he didn't do that. He did that for everybody. See, I ain't talking about what he did for everybody. I'm talking about what he did for our black people. So this, this is an attempt to win you to the struggle for African liberation. That's why we built a revolutionary party to end what we call colonial capitalism. Now capitalism is a social system built on the backs of black people and other colonized people. It's more than about just slavery. What about the 400 years they had us here working for free or near free and the more than 4,000 lynchings of black people in the United States, we, did, we demand reparations. So that's why you build a revolutionary party. Not to fight against the incidents, but to bring the whole system down so African people can be free. That's what the African People's Social Party is about. But so again, I want to give you the opportunity to join our movement. You can talk to Dexter. If you feel like you're a revolutionary, we can find out quickly. You can talk to Dexter. Tell him you want to join the African People's Social Party in St. Pete. Right. If you're not a revolutionary, we will find that out quickly too. <laughs> or you can join the International People's Democratic Uhuru Movement. That's our mass organization. So I want to wrap it up and thank everybody for coming out today. The participants, the vendors, all these great performers, they deserve our respect and our recognition. I want to appreciate them coming out today and being a part of this great event. I want to give a shout out to the other African Liberation Days all over the world, Paris, London, Sierra Leone, West Africa, in Philadelphia, St. Louis, yeah. Oakland, California. Want to shout out to all the African brothers and sisters all over the world. Uhuru.